Welcome back to the third and final installment of Farmer's Dynasty 2 Demo. Um, I, I So there was an update and I had to restart my save. We're just going to wander around here and check things out and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Uh, it looks like there are sunflowers, which I think is different. I don't think we had sunflowers last time, so we can walk up to this and hit enter to buy. It is 7,000 euros. We only have 12,000, so we're not buying that. There's also some weird graphical glitch thing happening over there. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll say this. If, if they can fix some of the bugs um, with the not only the windowed mode for people that play in windowed mode um, but stuff like this, I'm not sure what that is. I think this game could be really, really really, really fun. Very nostalgic for a lot of people who played Farmer's Dynasty 1, really enjoyed it. The map looks fairly large if you look out uh, over all this area here. I mean, we're just walking right now, and it's still taking us a little while uh, to get anywhere, but uh, a lot of this is blocked off. You can see the little no-go zones here. There is a river here, so we'll probably have to come down here to cross and go around. I do want to go uh, this direction, see what that is. Um, it reset me for the missions. We've already been up to our house, right? Our little place in the woods, whatever, wherever it's at. This is your farm. That's there. Yeah, so I guess it was here then? No, it was... What are we at here? Yeah, this was it. We were up here. So I want to go over to this side and see what's going on there. Let's go check out the water. I want to run up there. Uh, so we're going to be hopping around just checking out different places. Let me see where this... Right there. Okay, let's go this way. I do think there was corn in the first one. I don't remember there being sunflowers. Though. This must be it right here. No, this is not. This is just a random random place. Can we go up there? We can. What is this? It's like a... This looks like a uh, little hunter's, hunter's place here to hunt. That's kind of neat. All right, if we keep going... Another... So this is a plot of land, actually, guys. So we can buy this area. How much does this area cost? 28,000 euros. A lot of trees here. I, I don't know what we can do with trees yet. I really hope that we don't have to wait on three drying racks, though. That I've seen a lot of comments. And you let me know your comments down below. I've seen a lot of comments of people saying that it would just crush the game for them if they had to sit and wait on drying racks for planks again. Um, so, yeah, I hope we don't get that. But... Uh, looking out across here, this looks... Oh, there's a dam there? That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we can't go there. You're getting too far from home? Please go back. Yeah, look at that. That is really cool. They actually put a dam in here. That's really neat. That's really neat. There's actually water coming out, too. Yeah, so overall, nostalgia-wise, of course this looks fantastic. Um, because it is the old game, right? It is. That's what it is. But, um, I, again, this is just my final thoughts on, on the game itself. And this is not, this doesn't mean I'm not going to play it because I am going to play it. I wish they would have went with updated graphics, but that's okay because we got the nostalgic feel of Farmer's Dynasty. And I'm okay with that part. Um, the, the, only, the only bad part about this is I think it's going to turn a lot of players off that maybe we're looking for something different. And maybe this is updated graphics. I don't know. Maybe it's just revisionist that, that I'm not I'm not seeing the updated graphics part. But it still looks good. It looks fine. Uh, I'm okay with the look of the game. I've never been mad about that part. Um, again, bugs. Whatever this is. That maybe that's part of the map. I don't know. Maybe it's aliens. Um, the, the graphics settings weren't right in Farmer's Dynasty 1 couldn't play in windowed mode unless it was an extremely small screen which i'm playing on now it's like a little tiny window uh that i'm playing with i don't know what this is i don't think this is supposed to be like this right what is happening with this part here yeah it's, it's some kind of graphical thing and it may just be me let me know if you've had that issue right there whatever that thing is i don't know what that's supposed to be it looks like there's supposed to be something on top of it though so this is where we get our other mission from. Again, the, the buildings look better. Um, they definitely look different, but the same, right? And I say that in a good way. Nostalgia meets um, new gameplay. So that's a good thing. Like, I don't, I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind the way the nostalgia hits. And I don't mind the, the way it looks. 
check out the water close up here. Let's see how it looks. I'm guessing there's fishing we can probably do, but I don't see any fish. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, I was about to say I don't see any fish. Yeah, we can definitely fish in this game too. It's going to be nice probably. We don't have a fishing pole though, so that's a no-go for now. We'll come back once the game is out, do some fishing. Um, and reminder, this is only going to be on the Farm Reduce channel. This won't be on my main channel. Do keep that in mind. Yeah, I just wanted to roam around and kind of check out the sites uh, and see what was available. Is this the other campsite? It looks like it might be. So there's places you can camp and rest and recover energy and that kind of stuff. Yeah, here we go. If we just start the fire and we sit down, right? Our sleep goes back up. You still have food and sleep you have to worry about in this game. Our energy goes back up. It only goes back up to 90. That's still good, though. That's a good start. All right, let's see... We go this way. See, it looked like I could get to this earlier, but I can't. I was going to try to go. Let's at least see if we can take a peek at the general store. Oh, check that out. Yeah, okay. That looks really nice. Looks really nice. Uh, I like the little parking lot there. That's just the general store. I couldn't even get close to the, uh, the vehicle store. Like, it's, it's way too far over there. Uh, but that looks really nice. What is this down here? Find... Uh, field and lumber products market will buy crops, bales, logs, and planks. Okay, so logs and planks. It's just weird that we have the two combined, right? It's very strange. Uh, I like it though. So same thing here, but they, you get different prices, and I'm guessing the seasons are going to change, price to price. So that's cool. So there's building materials. Sell everything. Sell everything you need. Uh, sells everything you need to rebuild and paint. Okay, general store, all kinds of goods. Grain, general store, goods of all kinds, all kinds of goods, whatever. Uh, another vehicle store on this side, so there's two vehicle stores? Another gas station, is there another general store over there? Building materials? There is, there's general stores kind of everywhere, so we're probably, it's probably going to be much like uh, Lumberjack Dynasty where you can get different things at different places. Vehicle store, I'm curious to see what the two different vehicle stores have. One of them may be logging, one of them may be farming. I don't know, but there's fields all the way up here. I mean, that's really far out there. But I hope at some point we get the whole map. I wish I, wish I could get over here. Those places aren't blocked off. Nobody get there, though, I don't think. Um, all right, so we got that. We got inventory and heroes. So this is this is the hero of the game, us. Uh, based on conditions below will affect your social interactions. So make sure we keep that in mind. Uh, and then we have our inventory, of course. We got skills and professions, which isn't here yet. Info and stats, which isn't here yet. And then, of course, we got our money, 1,250 euros, two social points. You get social points you can use. Um, and then we have our quest, quest list here, Emily's Barn, which we've already done. We did that in the previous video. Uh, I, I'm just going to point this out, that um, giving us a limited map to play on for the demo is a great idea. That just put us back at the house. It did. It kicked us all the way back to the house. Uh, yeah, we're all the way back here now. Uh, I think giving us a limited um Amount of gameplay in the demo is a great idea because it gives us a little feel of what it's at. There's stress tests in the game. See what breaks, what doesn't. Uh, also, that graphical glitch is gone now, whatever it was. No longer in view. Nope. Okay, good. Uh, I think it was just right here, actually. Yeah, because there's the... It was just right there. Um, but it, the, the idea that we need, like, a full gameplay, I think, is silly. I think the, the limited... Um, I think the limited gameplay is fun. So this is our land, but um, it's 0.1 hectare. But what can we do on it? Because there's bushes and stuff. There's no trees here. I wonder if we can plant trees there or if we can just plow that up and make that a field. But if we look here, right, this is kind of between fields. So we got that area and then we got this area. This is our crop field, which is this field, 0.16. I mean, it's not super big, but it's enough. And then we've got this big area of trees up here. So area info, you is the owner. Area size is 1.62 hectare. Pine, 105. Spruce, 93. Total trees, 198. There's a lot of land you start with. And then we got some little stuff over here. Let's run over here to these. I'll say this, walking through the mud here. Listen. Well, I did it a couple times anyway. At least there is some sort of sound difference for walking through the mud. That's pretty nice too. All right, let's see where our land is. Keep going. Oh, okay, so we got some little fields down here. Yeah, so this field is 0 0.02, 0 0.03, and 0 0.05. These are very small fields. 
Won't take much to work those. Won't make a lot of money off of them either, but it should give us something. Yeah, I mean, these are nice size little fields here. We got a little pond. We can do a little fishing. Oh, look, we got a fishing pole. Pick up fishing rod. Oh, yeah. We found a fishing rod. If I can scroll to it now. There we go. See if we can do a bit of fishing. I didn't do this in the first two because I just didn't see it. If I remember how to do this now. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's the same mechanic. Um, you just tap to keep it between the two uh, the two dots. And there we go. We've caught a fish. Whatever it may be. Fish plus one. Sweet. All right. And then we still see fish out there. So we're going to throw right out down the middle of them. But we're going to wait again. I got to say, too, while we're sitting there waiting, the music's kind of nice. There we go. Another fish on. And then you just tap and keep keep the little bar between there. It's not super complicated for fishing. It's pretty easy, actually. Uh, which I think is great. I think it, it gives all players a chance to catch some fish. And you don't have to reel it all the way into the dock either. You get it about part way in and it, and it just jumps in. Um, and it looks like there are different types of fish. Let's go here and check it out. Yep, so we got fish here. Uh, fresh food, tasty, but little nutritional value. The same thing there. They don't have names yet, but they are different, different kinds of fish. Uh, so we can go fishing in the game, which is all I wanted to figure out. I wish we'd have walked down here sooner. We would have found that. Um, overall though, I think the new updated look, I say new updated look, it's, I mean, it still looks like the old Farmer's Dynasty, which is fine too. Uh, but the new updated things in the game, the windmill, uh, the, the, the logging, com oh, it's back, uh, logging combined with the farming, I think is pretty nice. I don't, I don't remember seeing like an archway for the farm on the way in, that kind of stuff. Can we close the gate? We can. We can close the gates. So that's kind of neat too. We got some interactive gates there for the farm. Close it off. Got the farmhouse, got all the barns and stuff around, got the workshops. Um, I, honestly, with the new map, all the new land, I think I'm going to enjoy this if they can get the bugs worked out. And that's the big thing, right? Farmer's Dynasty 1 still has bugs. <laughs> so there's still floating trees in areas. So uh, again, I've been a fan of Toplitz since Farmer's Dynasty 1 came out December 17th or 12th or whatever it was, 2017. Been playing it ever since. Love the games. I love what Toplitz and UMEO is doing. But you can't ignore the bugs and what people want. You just can't. Um, the people playing the game are the important ones. And me, I don't, I don't really care. I'll play the game. Uh, I'm going to play it regardless. So if you guys want to wait, see what it looks like, come back and hang out with me for the full release of the game. Uh, whenever that may be. I say the full release. The early access version of the game, whenever that may be this year. Uh, it says 2024. So come back and hang out then. Uh, final thoughts. I like the game. I think it's a great idea. I kept saying we want Farmer's Dynasty 2, but I was really hoping we'd get Farmer's Dynasty 2 with an upgraded engine. We did not. We got a slight upgrade uh, in the way of some of this kind of stuff, right? Picking up, picking up things off the ground to rebuild your farm. Instead of having to go buy things, you can just use stuff you find around here, which is always nice. Um, we got the Lumberjacks Dynasty combined with Farmer's Dynasty. So we got logging in here now, so you can do more than just farming, which is kind of nice. You still got the purchasable lands. You got two vehicle stores. You still got the missions that are set up the same way. So again, nostalgic, but on a in a totally different area this time around. For me, all of that, if, if the game costs... I'm, I'm going off today's prices, right? 2024 prices. So if the game costs less than $24.99, $24.99 or less... Uh, I think it'll be a good purchase for people that are nostalgic for the game. If you've never played Farmer's Dynasty, you may not have a reason to play this. Um, but for me, I'm definitely going to be picking it up uh, at $24.99 or less. Any more than that, and I think it's honestly just it's a bad move. Um, $24.99 in today's prices I think is plenty. Uh, I think it may be a bit much still. But again... That's, that's for today's prices. They have to make money or there's no point in, in making games, right? Um, also, I don't like to see people get, get price gouged um, that maybe save up money uh, to buy that one game a month or something, you know? Because uh, that's the thing. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of you may be, that, be in that situation. Um, I don't buy that many games. I buy a lot of them to check out, to show off to you guys so that you can see if you want to buy it or not. So for me, it's it's an expense. Um, but I, I think overcharging for games is, is a mistake. Um, especially when 
it's kind of just a reboot of the original. And I and I hate to say it that way, but it kind of is just a reboot of the original. And I'm not I'm not being unfair. Uh, I think I'm being as fair as possible given Toplet's praise, but at the same time, understanding that that people just don't have the extra money to spend anymore. And if you price yourself out, you're only going to be selling a certain amount of copies instead of um, maybe being able to sell more copies of the game. You're going to be selling less copies of the game. So that, that doesn't do anybody any favors. And I want to see them succeed, and I want to see it do well, and I want to see people enjoy the game again because I enjoyed this game so much. This game basically built my channel. So uh, I had so much success early on with Farmer's Dynasty in my main channel, and I think that seeing it um, go from you know kind of this idea of a different type of farming game to kind of a classic like a cult classic almost you know because people really do love Farmer's Dynasty uh, the amount of views it's gotten on on this channel is crazy because this this channel is very small uh, but it's doing really well so I want to see people enjoy the game for a decent price. I don't want to see them get priced out of it because I don't think that's fair to um, people playing the game. I don't think it's fair to people that want to enjoy the game. Uh, I really hope they can they can work the bugs and stuff out of it uh, quickly and everybody can have a good experience. And, and I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, I'm not saying they're not going to work the bugs out. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying Top Lit's new MMO are going to, are going to, you know, cash grab and and drop the game or whatever. I don't think that's what they did the first time. I think they had good intentions, um, and then porting it over to console. I think is what cost them, because when you start moving stuff to console, consoles have their own way of doing things, and you don't really have a choice in how it works. So um, you have to wait on certain things to be able. There was an invisible hit box here for fixing something. I don't know. What does that do? Oh, it's the lights. Sweet. Okay, nice. Um, I think there's a probably probably a good way to do this without trying to go to consoles and, and costing yourself tons and tons of time and money. Uh, that's not going to do any good anyway, because people are just going to hate on it. You know, if it's not if it's not up to par with AAA titles, which it's it's not going to be. Well, not everybody. I mean, a lot of people enjoy it on console, regardless. Um, but I, I just I want to see the game succeed. I want them to do well, and I want to see everybody have fun and and enjoy the game. I just really want to see them fix the bugs in it. Um, again, we never we never got a full fully fleshed out uh, Farmer's Dynasty one, so I don't want to see that happen with Farmer's Dynasty two because I don't want to feel I don't want people to feel like they wasted their money. Anyway, that's enough rambling. There should be some other videos popping up. I appreciate you guys. Let me know down in the comments. You can be playing Farmers Dynasty 2. You can be watching Farmers Dynasty 2 to see if you want to play it. You're going to be watching it on my channel. Leave me a like. Subscribe if you are. I appreciate you. Leave a comment down below. I'll catch you next time. Later, folks.